Princess Marie of Denmark presides over the presentation of a prize in Copenhagen. Queen Jetson of Bhutan attends a film premiere in Timpu. Princess Camilla of Bourbon to Sicilies attends a meeting in Rome. And Grand Duchess Maria Theresa of Luxembourg attends an academic session in esch sur alzette All this and much more coming up next on your World Daily News. everyone. I hope you're doing well. My name is Alexandra and welcome to your World Daily News for Monday, October 16th, 2023. On Sunday, Her Royal Highness Grand Duchess Maria Theresa of Luxembourg attended the Lycée des Garçons academic session in esch sur alzette The session was organized on the occasion of the 10th anniversary of the non-profit organization Médecins du Monde, also known as Doctors of the World Luxembourg. The MML, through volunteers, provides, quote, basic care to the most deprived, end quote. On Friday, the Grand Duchess, as high patron of the National Association of Nurses of Luxembourg, attended Nurses' Day organized by the Luxembourg Hospital Center. During the event, the Grand Duchess attended a panel session held under the theme, The Societal Image of Nursing, and inaugurated the new nursing training center at the University of Luxembourg. In Luxembourg City, His Royal Highness Grand Duke Henri of Luxembourg attended the 2023 National Day of Commemoration on Sunday. According to the Cruel Grand Ducal, the National Day of Commemoration, quote, honors and remembers the solidarity, struggle, and resistance of the Luxembourg people against the Nazi occupiers from 1940 to 1945, end quote. In Madrid, His Majesty King Felipe VI of Spain chaired the 10th Foro Industrial de El Economista held at the Four Seasons Hotel. Held under the theme Artificial Intelligence, Strategic Autonomy and Sustainability, Business Megatrends That Will Change the World, the forum gathered over 20 presidents and CEOs from top Spanish companies. According to the Spanish Royal Court, during the event, attendees analyzed the, quote, transformative power of artificial intelligence, which 12% of Spanish companies already use on a daily basis, sustainability as drivers of the global economy, and strategic autonomy, end quote. Upon his arrival, the king was welcomed by the Minister of Industry, Commerce, and Tourism, Mr. Hector Gomez, and the editor-in-chief of the editorial, Eco Prensa, Mr. Gregorio Peña. After an exciting El Economista corporate video presentation, the king gave a speech, stating, quote, There are many more topics, but these today are very powerful, fundamental, and well-chosen for how they are intertwined. I appreciate the invitation, I believe very much in the relevance of these forums that promote debate and shared intelligence as a method of searching for solutions and testimonies to progress altogether. Knowing or understanding the reality in which we operate and what we can anticipate or try to pose great challenges for our country and for Europe. There are even necessities for Spain and the EU to remain at the forefront in the face of the rapid evolution and changes that we are experiencing in the world. In the afternoon, the king held an audience with his All Holiness, Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew I, the 270th Archbishop of Constantinople at Palacio de la Zazuela. In Copenhagen, Her Royal Highness, Princess Marie of Denmark, as patron, presented over the presentation of the 2023 Francophone Ambassadors in Denmark's Literary Prize, held at the French Embassy this afternoon. The winner of the prize went to Ms. Julianne Levaillet Tudel for her first novel published in 2015 entitled Nulit. The critically acclaimed novel has been translated into several languages, including Danish. Along with the prestigious prize, Ms. Levaillet Tudel received 10,000 Danish crown. Congratulations.
After a fantastic birthday gala dinner last evening, His Royal Highness Prince Christian of Denmark, members of the Danish royal family, and 200 young people attended a concert on the occasion of the prince's 18th birthday. During the concert, the prince went up on stage to thank all of his guests for, quote, an absolutely unforgettable evening. And I really appreciate that all of you came from far and wide to celebrate with me, end quote. So what's the next big event for Prince Christian? Well, on November 14th, 2023, the prince will attend the Council of State meeting at Christiansborg Slot. During the meeting, the prince, accompanied by Her Majesty Queen Margrethe II of Denmark and His Royal Highness Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark, will make a solemn declaration that he wishes to comply with the Danish constitution. Once he complies, the prince will then be able to be appointed as regent. However, Prince Christian will not get a seat in the Council of State until a change of the throne has taken place. On Saturday, Her Majesty Queen Margrethe II of Denmark, along with the Danish Prime Minister, Ms. Meta Fredriksson, the Danish Foreign Minister, Mr. Lars Rasmussen, and the Ambassador of the State of Israel to the Kingdom of Denmark, Mr. Alan Leventhal, attended a ceremony at the Copenhagen Synagogue. During the ceremony, speeches were made and national songs from both Denmark and Israel were sung. In Oslo, His Majesty King Harald V of Norway and His Royal Highness Crown Prince Haakon of Norway held an audience this morning with representatives of the Fossen campaign at the Royal Palace. According to the Norwegian Royal Court, in November of 2021, the Supreme Court ruled that the, quote, facilities for wind power that had been built at Fossen in Trundelag are in violation of Sami rights and a threat to reindeer husbandry. Sami from the Fossen campaign wrote to the king on Friday and asked to present their case to him. The king immediately responded and invited them for an audience, end quote. On Saturday evening, Her Majesty Queen Sonia of Norway attended the Folk Org's 100th anniversary concert held at the Grieg Hallen in Bergen. During the sold-out concert, the Folk Org presented the, quote, best of folk music and folk dance. In total, there were over 150 musicians and dancers on stage, end quote. This morning, their royal highnesses, Prince Charles and Princess Camilla of Bourbon to Sicilies, held a meeting with the Italian Minister of Defense, Mr. Guido Crosetto, at the Italian Ministry of Defense in Rome. According to the princess, it was an important meeting because, quote, we discussed global politics and the ongoing Israel-Palestine conflict. And on this occasion, my husband, the Grand Master of the Constantinian Order of St. George, bestowed upon Guido the title of Knight Grand Cross of Merit, end quote. As a way to say thanks for his new shiny title, Guido gave the princess a scarf, while her husband received absolutely nothing. In Timbu, Her Majesty Queen Jetson of Bhutan, accompanied by other members of the royal family of Bhutan, attended the premiere of the film The Monk and the Gun, directed by Oscar nominee Mr. Pavo Dorshi. The film was recently submitted to the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences for the Best International Feature Film category for the 96th Annual Academy Awards, which will air on March 10th, 2024. If you would like to watch a trailer for The Monk and the Gun, in the description box below, I will leave a direct link to the YouTube channel that has the official trailer. And finally, on Sunday, Her Royal Highness, the Princess of Wales, attended the 2023 Rugby World Cup quarterfinal match between England and Fiji at the Stade Velodrome in Marseille, France. So, who won the match? England, 30-24.
And there you have it. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. I will be back tomorrow on Tuesday, October 17th with all the latest world news. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful afternoon and a great day tomorrow. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a thing. Okay, again, have a wonderful afternoon, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.